If you've been watching my videos, you probably know that what I'm trying to do is help people understand what it is that I actually do from day to day. So you pay money to go see a rock show that lasts for a few hours. I work for one band that's about 40 minutes and you're probably thinking, what the hell does that guy do for the rest of the day? And well, this. My work day on this tour starts at about midday. The headliner has been rolling in at about 9 a.m., which is usually about when I crawl out of my bunk. After unloading a trailer, we'll try and set up everything backstage or on the floor of the venue. With ERA, everything is digital for guitars and bass, which helps keep everything consistent on tour. So mainly just setting up drums and miking them, and then we've got two audio racks that we roll onto stage once it's our time to sound check. I'll then head to front of house, set up my console, and do a virtual sound check with a recording from the night before, make some adjustments before I have the band come in and do a full sound check with them. We usually wrap by two, so we try and get a lot done by then, and then it's time to go get some food. Side note, this place in Boston was great. This time's usually free time to do whatever. Obviously lately, I'm editing a bunch of video and backing out files, and I've got changeover at 7.40 to get the previous band off and get my band on at 8 p.m. And that's the part of the show you came to see. Philadelphia, I took a walk around the venue first before getting together with local hands and loaders to dump our trailer and start getting everything organized. We use Soundtrack to try and set up every little thing and every little detail before you come in to see the show and just make sure that everything is working perfectly. As you can see from here, it's gonna be a lot of the same stuff from now on. The gap I didn't film between soundcheck and showtime on this day was going and getting groceries, but uh, that's pretty boring, but part of everyday life. It's things that need to be done. We had a lot of friends and family at this show. It's probably the closest thing to a hometown show for half the band, which was really cool. Everything went well, so. Finish the show, pack the trailer, time for a shower, repeat. Turned out to be a really cool show. Here's some clips from that. I've only been here on a day off before, never actually to play a show, but this crowd was really fun. This was also a really cool show, big stage, had a bunch of friends out, sounded awesome, felt great.
It's an off day currently in Amarillo, Texas. Just been sitting around a hotel, not doing a great deal, but we're about to go have dinner at a big old steakhouse. So let's check it out. Thought I'd check in because not a lot's been happening. Best and worst part of the middle of the tour is that everyone gets in a groove and everything just works and it's kind of boring from an outsider perspective, but we've done Dallas, Denver, and Salt Lake, all really cool shows. The best bit about Salt Lake for me was that one of my favorite bands, Touche Amore, was playing next door. So a really cool surprise to go next door, see them. Uh, but today we're in Boise, Idaho and uh, it's nice out here. It's really cool. Got a couple of off days coming up, so we'll see you after that. Peace.